where the landscape stretches beneath a beautiful sky, a peaceful coexistence exists. A meandering Sosiani river slices through its terrain, its crystal clear water, a testament of beauty and nature. Along the riverbanks, the cranbirds glide effortlessly. Nearby, a herd of antelopes are grazing contentedly. The giraffes are stretching their necks in order to reach the highest branches. And below the trees, the leopards are moving keenly, scanning the environment for opportunity and safety. In the distance, the roaring lion rests in the shade. What a balance of nature. All these nondescript features are landmarks of the ill was in Kishu as it will come to be known as Wasingishu years later. Here, the Sirikwa, like Kipiak and Naivasha people thrived, tending to their cattle and living harmoniously with the land. 1800 was the year. The Maasai started to move in. They intended to use this land as their grazing field. But this led to a very fierce battle between the Maasai and the Nandi. Blood was shed, lives were lost, people were displaced. But eventually, the Nandi emerged victorious, pushing the Maasai all the way down to Transmara. Then in came the British, following the land regulation of 1899, which allowed the white settlers to exploit the indigenous people fertile land. But of course, the Nandi were not going to take this sitting down. Baba, Rotit, Baba. Eh, our Watu, Wamehucha, Wanataka, could you go with it? Our son, eh, Rotit, Nataka, Ukai, Jasiri, Rotit, Sasaba, Sunga, Vitriet, Rotit, Sasaba, in our Mehucha, Nasila, Wokuba, eh, Sasa, Natunga, Pisa, Rotit, Sasaba, eh, I like any Baba, eh, me and Nasia, what to Anahucha, Nasila, Wokuba, Baba, Master Baba, and I still am going to go to Tapanaja Baba, Debunia, Beta, Janda, Jababa, Rotit, eh. In the letter, one wagon, one wagon. Got a watch and got a brutish in the letter, what to do. Brutish, got a watch, Baba. Funny if you let out what to Mali Musuri, Mali Water Cafe Suri. Saba, Mama, now what to Baba? Eh, Namibi Baba. Where when you want a muke? Abana Baba. Pass. Where when you mutu? Abana Baba. Aya, Sasa, where when you want a ume? Sasa, Imurnik Bruti Sawa, Unaruti Hapa to Nanda Bamoja. Sawa, Aya, Rakish, Rakish, Ruti, this will later on lead to a fully blooded war between the British and the Nandi, which lasted for a period of 10 years. But the British subdued the Nandi, pushing them down to the Nandi reserves. Then in came the Boers. They arrived at our coastal shores, got on to trains, and down the railway line they drove up to Londiani. Using wagon wheels, they drove down the savannah. It is said that one of their wagon wheels got stuck in the mud and dropped one of their safe containing many of their valuables. Silver, gold, coins, damn them. It was difficult to put it back. So they had to construct a simple matope structure around it to act as a bank, which was later named in 1912 the Standard Bank of South Africa Limited with its first manager, J.M. Shaw. The arrival of the Boers was met by conflict and tension by the indigenous people. But due to the advanced weaponry and determined mindset, the Boers displaced many local communities. And they settled in rather quick. They established their farm right here at the Wasingishu Plateau, and they designated it a simple numerical label, Farm 64. Since it was 64 miles from Londiani where there was a railway headquarters. But now here comes the twist. The pronunciation of the word 64 was an appeal task to the locals. Go ahead, do go. We live Pam Pam ne. Pam 64. Ada Ada Pam 64. C C C 64. Oh C C four. Oh C C four. So to them it ended up being Pam 64. So stay with us as we journey through time. Witnessing the triumphs and struggles of those who once called this land home. In 1910, a boy by the name Willy Van Art established the first post office since he could not make a living out of the farm. 
and thus the township started. He started receiving applications for business plots on the farm, and it had to be given a name. The locals were summoned by the governor, Sir P.C. Giroud, in order to give it a name. It was problematic to get one. There were many suggestions. Giroud Forte, in honor of the first governor, uh -huh, yes, we name it Sirikwa. Yes, those were the first inhabitants of this land. Oh, so we name it after them. Wow, that's a good one. Yes, Masai. Unasemaji? Twitter. Entore. Meaning, the Stony River. Oh, well, that's creative. Yes. We name it Badokidogo. Why should you name it Badokidogo? Oh, like you need more time in order to get a long-lasting name. Oh, that's quite a suggestion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Masai's carried the day with Entore, but meaning the Stony River, since the riverbed of the Sosiani River is said to be very stony. But now, this to our white friends became Eldare. But the governor was curious why every local word ended with a consonant T. So he suggested that a consonant T be added so that it can be comfortable for the locals to pronounce it. But now, <laughs> During the official gazette of January 1st, 1912, a typing error occurred, and it was misspelled to Eldoret. The official gazette noticed January 1st, 1912, the administrative station on the Wasingishu Plateau, formerly known as Farm 64, will for the future be styled Eldoret. Now Eldoret became the new promised land to the Boers. And just like any other place, the economic transition began. And later on, we had mayors, from the first black mayor, Councillor A.N. Olo, to the last black mayor, W.K. Rono. And well, if you thought the story about Eldoret was done, then think again. Be in 1966, just three years after independence, nature gave us a bouncing baby boy. Fast forward, he became a CU leader at a school right here in Eldoret. <laughs> Nundoroto School, which is the current day Wareng High School, proceeded to capsulate boys for his A levels. <laughs> then became a youth leader in 1992. <laughs> Then the member of parliament, Eldoret North. Then to a minister. Then to a deputy president. And now to the president of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> and today, in accordance with the 2010 constitution, Eldoret has just received a charter as the fifth city of Kenya by the fifth president of Kenya, His Excellency, Dr. William Samoei Arab Ruto. Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome, welcome to, to the, the city, city of champions. champions.